This video that I am going to be doing with you today is I am going to be coming out to you and you're like my best friend and you know, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand how much of a rock that you have been for me. <laughs> Looking good. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Time Lit Up, and I'm back with another video. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button. And throughout the video, please comment in the comment section below. Today's video is going to be very, very, very special. Hopefully, it doesn't get emotional because I don't want to cry. But today, I am going to be making a video with my twin brother. Not really my twin, but every single time I put him on my YouTube channel, y'all always are like, Oh my God, y'all are like twins. <laughs> today, I am going to be coming out to my twin brother. Y'all are probably like, what? This video is going to be super important to me and it's going to be super important to my family. I'm going to be getting into more detail whenever I get my brother on the camera. He actually lives with me now, so let's actually go bother him. I told him that we were gonna do a video, but I didn't tell him exactly what video we were gonna do. Y'all like my glasses? Ooh. Ooh, looking good, what? That forehead is foreheading though. Ignore my messy ass room, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Daniel, yeah. I'm coming in. You ready for look? Oh, check it, check it the f out, boy, lady. Oh, your room dirty too. Uh, I just tell everybody, look at your room. Your room all decked out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You got you got the whole setup over here or whatever. You got some clothes on the ground or whatever. You got your college degree out there. You got the PS5. You killing yep. it. You killing it. I told everyone that we were gonna do a video. I already told them what type of, what type of video it was gonna be. You don't know it, so let's go to the living room so we can film this video. Oh my gosh, wait. Do we look like twins? I'm fatter. No, not really. The forehead is forehead, no. <laughs> oh, you want to take up all the camera space? You can scoot over a little bit. Oh, my bad. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, my glasses, they need to be clean and I should have did that before this video, so whatever. What is good, everybody? I already did my intro, you already know that, whatever. Ha 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 ha, you know, to do do Daniel. So I have a very special kind of video that I wanted to do today. Uh -huh. And I just didn't want to tell you because I wanted it to be more sincere. Okay. We did a certain type of video that was very, very, very similar to this a couple of years ago whenever I came to Dallas when Anthony and I were still together. And this video that I am going to be doing with you today is I am going to be coming out to you. Now you're probably like, what? Just like everybody else, I already said, <laughs> after everything you've done on YouTube, you want to come out now? But there is a story behind that and I want to share it with you and I want to share it with everybody else. The video that I did in Dallas with you and I, I really, I, I can't find it. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure this is along the same lines. I hardly remember it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that video was mainly for views anyways and it was less sincere than what I really wanted to, it to be. Yeah. After everything that I've already done on YouTube already, I never actually had like a conversation with you, mom, nobody, right? And the reason, yeah. the reason for that is because I was scared. I believe that. I was scared. Lots of people are scared coming out, so I mean. <laughs> I was very scared and what I did was I literally woke up one day and was like, huh, I need a YouTube video today. How about I just make a video saying that I like dudes. <laughs> <laughs> My take for coming out was just, let me just go ahead and upload this video. If they see it, they see it. If they don't, they don't. I'm just gonna do whatever I wanted to do. And honestly, that was me masking my fear instead of just having a personal conversation with y'all. No one should be putting such a big, like heavy emphasis on coming out, you know, whatever. It's literally, people should just live their lives. Like, we should just live our lives how we want to, just as long as we're not bad people. But the purpose of this video is to show people that it's okay to come out and that also to show my viewers and the people who have supported me for so many years that, you know, they, they view me as somebody that's strong, will, you know, unapologetically mean. Because you and, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I fell short here. And I'm making this video to show the people who are going to be watching 
that it is okay to come out to your family members. Obviously, do not put yourself in any type of predicament where it's going to harm you. It's going to put you in danger or others in danger. Obviously, still, you know, be safe and um, analyze your situation. But I've had lots of people message me over the years of advice on like how to come out and whatever. And here I am giving them advice and I never actually did it myself. I plan on doing this with you. I plan on doing this with mom. And I plan on doing this with dad. Oh, dun dun dun. Oh, no. <laughs> Not dad. <laughs> I know y'all probably y'all have never seen my dad. You probably never hear me talk about him on this channel or anything like that. That oh no is probably something that's just like, oh uh, I mean he knows, but it's always a beating around the bush thing. And yeah. So I think it would be I think that's also something that's really hard for people. Um, the dad thing coming out to your dad, especially being a male and especially being a black male, you know? So Daniel. So hey. Hi. I like dudes. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be more formal. I'm going to try to not get as emotional as possible. I said this was supposed to be more so uplifting. If I do get emotional, it's more so like a sense of happiness as opposed to something that's sad. Finally like, facing that fear of finally telling somebody or multiple people. Yes, but I never had an issue with you at all, like ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I know that, you know, you support me and everything. Daniel, I do, I mean, I, I, have, I do like dudes. I've been liking dudes for years. Um, you remember Jason? No. You don't remember him? <laughs> he came to your graduation, he was at my graduation. Don't remember? No, I think that's probably the only guy I don't remember. <laughs> okay, well, starting with him on downward, probably almost not every guy that you've met I've dated. That's not true. Well, but yeah. The ones who were like constantly stuck to my hip, you kind of got the gist. <laughs> um, leading all the way up to Anthony. Okay. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you a lot, actually, because, oh yeah, he's my younger brother, by the way. A lot of people think that he's older than me. I'm not older. I'm actually I'm older. By a year. <laughs> <laughs> is is that like Irish, is that Irish twins? <laughs> I appreciate you for always supporting me. You are like our relationship between each other is like so strong. And I think that's another reason why I'm so happy that you're actually here in Austin because we can actually do some very great things together. And you know, no matter what, I mean, I could have told you this 10 years ago and you probably would have been like, okay, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. So right <laughs> that's why I'm like, you have always been that person that has made me feel happy, who has made me feel comfortable, and you're like my best friend and you know? There it is. <laughs> I can see you now coming up to me very emotional. <laughs> Just like that right there. <laughs> because I don't think you actually understand, like... You don't understand how much of a rock that you have been for me. You know? I know mom is always talking about how, like, you look up to me, you know? And I want to do anything. I would, you know, I would die for you, you know? Like, that's the type of love that I feel for you. Yeah. And um, I just, I really, really appreciate you. And, you know, I always go around and I tell everybody how much you're like... You're my best friend, you're my brother and everything. And even people from like middle school and high school have always said that you've always treated your brother with like so much respect. <laughs> so I also I treat you. Some people don't have those relationships with their brothers and their sisters. Yeah, I know. That's when one of my coworkers told me that. Whenever whenever I told whenever I told him I was moving in with you, he was just like, Dang, I wish <laughs> he was like, Dang, I wish me and my brother had that same kind of like influence on each other. I was just like, hmm. <laughs> A lot of people not everybody feels that same way. So I, I greatly, greatly appreciate you so much for everything that you do. I appreciate you too. I know that you don't necessarily realize the impact that you have on my life, but if it was one person that I felt comfortable with bringing the dudes around, <laughs> it was you. It was me. Because you would always visit me at all my apartments. And there's I've seen just so all <laughs> They'd just all be there, and if you ever asked me, I, just, I would have just told you. So. It'd be like, oh, hey, dude, how's it going? 
You're here? So, awesome. That's great. I appreciate you. Do I look ridiculous? I need to see how ridiculous I look. Oh my god, I don't look ridiculous. Okay, my eyes aren't red. My glasses are blurred. <laughs> Thank you. I greatly appreciate you taking the time out to sit with me. Listen to me. I know that this was going to be a lot quicker and easier with you than it would be mom and dad. I feel like there is a... Or literally anybody else this way. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be... Um, there's a lot more to unpack when it comes to them so oh like parents yeah there's there's a lot more to unpack when it comes to them and uh, my relationship with them you know because i mean they met my mom but they don't know nothing about her i mean they've seen her you know mm. like i went through a whole engagement <laughs> <laughs> i went through a whole engagement i went through youtube subscribers millions of views and stuff and just never genuinely had a conversation with you feels good actually <laughs> it feels good for you yeah what do you think? You could have you could have came out you could have came out like ten years later. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, you, you, you face your fear today and that's a good thing. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you, Jesus. I do have a little coming out trilogy. Because next is mom. Chapter <laughs> two. <laughs> She's coming this month. <laughs> oh yes she is so i do plan on having the same conversation with her a little more in depth please love yourself i know that i have walked around for years with like this bad b attitude like nobody can tell me nothing even i on the inside also have demons that i need to face and we all do if you need someone to talk to please message me. You can message me on Instagram. You can message me on Facebook. You can message me on Twitter. You can do everything. All my social media handles are down in the description box below. So go ahead and click on that. Y'all go ahead and like this video. Leave some comments in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button if you're new and I will see y'all. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. Woo! I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.